Hey fellow developers, if you're building apps with Flutter, this video might change how you code forever. I'm sharing seven powerful Flutter hacks that'll help you code smarter, fix common issues faster, and take your app's performance to the next level. Whether you're just starting out or deep into development, these tips are the kind of tools every Flutter dev should have. Let's jump in and start building better. Use Builder to fix context issues in nested widgets. Ever tried to use navigator.push or scaffold of context on show snack bar and it throws an error like no scaffold ancestor found? That's because the context you're using isn't in the right place in the widget tree. The fix? Wrap it in a builder widget. It gives you a new context that's properly scoped. Why this works? Builder returns a new context inside the widget tree, giving access to scaffold and theme. Dart extension methods for cleaner logic. When your app grows, keeping code clean is key. Instead of repeating logic, use extension methods. Why it's a hack. We can add custom methods to any class, even built-in ones like string, date time, build context, optimize rebuilds with const plus keys. Flutter is fast, but you can make it faster. Avoid unnecessary widget rebuilds using const and proper keys. Const widgets don't rebuild, and keys help Flutter know which widget changed instead of rebuilding everything blindly. Use repaint rainbow to find UI bottlenecks. Ever notice stuttering animations or random UI jank? It could be from too many repaints. Use debug repaint rainbow enabled in your project. This shows which widgets are redrawing every frame, so you can wrap them with const, use repaint boundary, or refactor the layout. Also, make sure to remove this debug code before release. Master hot reload versus hot restart. Let's break it down. Hot reload keeps app state, and reloads only change widgets. Hot restart fully rebuilds the widget tree and resets app state. Good for changes in main.dart or stateful logic, hot reload is perfect for UI tweaks, layout fixes, and small logic changes. Hot restart is better for initialization fixes, navigation logic, and resetting buggy state. Forget media query for layout decisions. Use layout builder to adapt widgets to space. It adapts to actual available space, not just screen size. Perfect for tablets, split screen, or dynamic UIs. Avoid overusing set state, use value notifier plus value listenable builder. Most devs rely too much on set state, but as your app grows, it can cause unnecessary rebuilds, performance drops, and messy state logic. A smarter, more flutter optimized way is to use value notifier with value listenable builder, lightweight, reactive, and efficient. This makes your code cleaner, faster, and more reactive, all without needing complex state management like provider or block. And there you have it, seven powerful Flutter tips that can seriously level up your app development game. From improving rebuilds to writing cleaner logic, each of these hacks is about building smarter, not harder. Want to dive deeper? Check out the official docs at flutter.dev for more details. If you found this useful, hit the like button to support the channel. Subscribe for more Flutter tips and tricks, turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Got questions or suggestions? Drop a comment below. Happy coding, and see you in the next one.